The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And last time out, another touchdown. And I think there may be some empty seats around here by the time the fourth quarter comes around. Yeah, I have to agree with you because this was just about to... A fight for it, and this is caught. It's caught indeed. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. It's a gain of 35. The dynamic duo is doing damage in this one, and they've certainly been on point throughout, and they hook up again for another big play. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. On play action, it's Brady. He's going deep for Brown. And this is caught. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Now following the interception, this offense will get another shot at it as they'll quickly head back onto the field. So after the INT, it's Brady. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Cool under pressure right there, escaping the pocket and finding what I think was not his primary target. And some of these guys are just so comfortable getting outside of the, the pocket that they'll do it on purpose. Doesn't even need to be a breakdown. Just, I, they move. And got his man complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Those are the kinds of plays right there that show you why he's the number three man of the NFL in terms of receiving yards. Also tells you there's a full combination of what he's got going in his game. You name it, from route running to catching the football. That's why he's able to produce those types of numbers. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Brady to throw again. This is caught by Evans. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 15-yard line. Well, I certainly don't want to pile on, but this defense has just not been up to the challenge in this game, and this continues as we see here. Coverage, not been very good. Soft in spots. There's an easy throw and catch for another first down. Godwin's got it. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Chris Godwin. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bucs add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Even though they've got... The Bucs offense set to begin their next possession. And right about now, heck, they might be wishing they did not have a bye week coming up next week. It appears they're going to go into that week off. And the most curious way there to burn some clock. That was wrong. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Brady now on first down. He's going deep for Brown. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Brady. Going to air it out deep for Gronkowski. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. The Bucks on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That, I believe, will put him over 100 yards receiving for the game. Yes, it will. And he's got a first down to boot. Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? It looks like they're headed towards a big, big number. But 20 was the threshold because that kept them in the ball game and kept the pressure off of their own offense. That catch good for only a couple. Now Brady again. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. 
fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, you, you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. That's caught by the big tight end, O.J. Howard. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. First catch for the NFL's leader in receiving yards at the midway point. It's a first down. Now Brady. Able to get away. And a catch right side by Evans. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. That one goes for 24 yards. Another completion for Tom Brady, and I just know that in his New England days, he would fight to stay out there until the end, until that clock hits zeros. But here in Tampa Bay, I just wonder if they'll want him to come out of the game and hand him the baseball cap in recognition of a job well done in this one. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. I'd have to say we're all a little bit surprised there because at his age, with his speed, or should I say lack thereof, the only rushing touchdowns I would expect are on quarterback sneaks. But here, he found all of his guys covered, and he said, why not? And by the way, if that doesn't fire up your team to see the veteran like that risking his body for the... The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. And this one has gone pretty well to form. They've come in, had little problem thus far, and now they'll try to polish things off in the fourth. Throwing on first down is Brady. And this is caught by Evans. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here on a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they're marching off another 15 against your squad. So a big penalty there on the face mask leads to first and 10. Brady going to look to throw. That's complete to his running back, Evans. And he'll be taken down by the face mask, it appeared. And yes, out come the flags. Face mask. Defense. They threw it. They threw the flag. Charles, did I just hear that right? They declined the personal foul. Free yards, they just declined them. And I have to think that the official is thinking to himself, did I just hear that correctly, that you declined that one? All I can think of is that someone on the field got confused. Must because have. It had to, because you're going to take the yards on that penalty each and every time. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Second and ten. The linebacker, Demario Davis, got a hand in to break that one up. Again, it's Brady. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. Mike Evans, the one he was looking for. And it's third down. Brady now to throw. That is caught, it's Chris Godwin. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the seven. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. And they get him down at the one. He had the broken tackle, but ultimately could not get into the end zone. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Throwing now is Brady. And he's going to go down. This will count as a sack, a very short sack, taken down at the two. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense. So the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. Third and goal as they look to pour some more salt in the wound. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Brandon, some of those windows that throw the football that exist when you're between the 20s, they don't exist when you're this close to the goal line. But as a former DB, I liked it closer to the goal line. Tighter windows made it easier to cover people, actually. And Suckup will put this one right through. And they're sitting pretty now as the lead grows even further.
big offensive explosion help leading them to victory and the defensive guys they're just saying hey put those points up every week we'll just keep winning they will gratefully accept them won't they it makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow so for the Buccaneers, they continue to cruise through this first half of the schedule as they move to 8-0 now on the campaign.